Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to add a non-Steam game to your Steam library so you can play with your controller wirelessly. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So you connect a wireless controller to your PC and you want to go ahead and play games wirelessly, but most games simply just don't support it. Now to add a non-Steam game to your library is very easy. Open up Steam, then in the bottom left, select this, then go to add a non-Steam game. Now this little list will appear once you go ahead and select it. And some games will appear right away. And other games you will have to go through the browse function right here and search for the file location independently. So I don't really see any games under here. So let's go over to browse. Now, most of your games will probably be in the program files. So if you go to like this PC, go to Windows C and go to program files x86, you should be able to find your games in here. So for example, Epic Games, if I went to this, I'd probably be able to find Fortnite under here. Then if I went to a different one, I should be able to find like Overwatch, if I went to Origin Games, I don't have anything in here right now. And then here's Battle.net. Maybe I'll be able to find some Battle.net games in here too. For me, my games are saved in a different hard drive. So if I go to my Samsung SSD, then go to my games file I created, here's Fortnite right here. So if you went to Fortnite, you want to select the game, then double click in here, then go to Fortnite game, then go to Binaries, 164 then add the fortnite client win 64 shipping and typically it's the largest file for the application as you can see this file application is so much larger than the rest of them this one will be the launcher so i can go ahead and double click this fortnite is now selected at the top then go to add selected programs then go on over to the library find under this list so here is Fortnite, the one I just added. I can right click on this, go to properties. Then a shortcut window will appear and then you can delete the rest of the wording. Then it will be just Fortnite. Now I can play this and it will launch the game. So it may take a little bit of time finding the file location and the actual launcher for the game to actually be able to launch it through the big picture mode in Steam. Otherwise, you might have to like Google search the file location by default and just see where that is before adding it. So Fortnite is now launching. But if you are trying to play wirelessly with your PS5 controller or PS4 controller, launch into big picture mode and start this up. So big picture mode's in the upper right side of the screen. And then just go to this and it should launch. And launching games through the big picture mode is nice because it will launch on the specific monitor that big picture mode is already on. So if you have three monitors and whatever one big picture mode starts on is the one it will launch on. So here is my wireless PlayStation 5 controller that's connected via Bluetooth. If I move this around, you can see it's working in Fortnite when I launch it into big picture mode. And you want to be able to do this without launching it through Steam at all it doesn't simply support the wireless function. You would have to connect it via a wire with like a phone cord or something like that. So this is very easy to do. Hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.